Falling Cow was uh, I was using stencils for a while and one day I flipped the cow stencil around upside down and used it and I, I always liked it and I, re, I, I used it in a lot of different paintings it became a kind of a repetitive image and um, when, I, when I did the first CD I was trying to come up with a name for my record company because I was putting a CD out on my own it came into my mind to use that word falling cow it stuck so since I had the falling cow records once when I started to think about the idea of opening a gallery I would I figured I could just use the same name and the same logo and uh, the funny thing is, it turns out that the building I found used to be a butcher shop. So after I, after the owner <laughs> told me that, I just felt that, well, it's meant to be. Boneheads wasn't as much of a uh, studio band. It was more of a live band, although we did recordings. Um, but I did collaborate with with Dave Gurk on, on uh, the songwriting we, we we had a good collaboration that evolved out of just uh, being together and playing informally in uh, art school and it, and it evolved out of that when I started to write my own songs I didn't really do any recording for years but when I started working on s stuff again and getting down to actually thinking about making a real CD then I had to trust in Again, the technical aspects of the recording, which I don't really want to deal with, I, I just am more comfortable in the, in the musical end. So working with George, he's produced a lot of things and he's his musical background is extensive. So once we got to know each other and we got comfortable working together, it just uh, kind of naturally, things just work out we let it you know we let we try different things i hope i'm open to suggestion he's got good ideas and uh, i'm able to listen to it and take advantage of it